Today I'm going to show you how to create a popular bounce text effect in seconds using the latest keyframe update in Shortcut. Additionally, I will show you how to create motion graphics using this effect. Hey there, I'm Sanketha and welcome to Vertical Darts. First, let's add the text. Go to open other, select text and click open. Choose text simple. Here you can change your text. I will write bounce. Feel free to change the font if you'd like. Uncheck use font size so you can adjust the size freely. Now drag and drop it onto the timeline. Next we will add the size position and rotate filter. Click the plus sign and search for that filter. Select size position and rotate. Move the playhead to the beginning of the timeline and make the text smaller. Click the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now move the playhead a little further and increase the text size. We have added simple movement to the text. Now let's give it the popular bounce effect. Go to the first keyframe. Use these arrows to navigate between keyframes. Right click and you will see two new options. To next and from previous. Since we are at the first keyframe, only to next is available. Click it and you will see more options. For the first keyframe, I will choose smooth. If you want to learn more about how keyframes work, check out my video on keyframes. You will find link up here and in the description. Now go to the second keyframe. Right click, select from previous. Then go to ease out options. Here you will find some awesome new effects. You can try them out. But for now, we will go with ease out bounce. Here's the effect. Amazing, right? This is really cool because I use After Effects for my professional work and in After Effects, I would have to add an expression to create this effect. However, shortcut makes it super easy. Let's try Ease Out Elastic. Oh, that looks even better. I'm really impressed with this update. You can do so much with this effect. Now let's try this on a shape by creating a bouncing ball animation. Go to open other, select color and click the color tab to choose a color. I will go with red. Hit OK, then press open. Drag and drop it onto the timeline. Now go to filters and click the plus sign and search for the crop filter. Select crop circle. Click on transparent to make it a transparent layer and reduce the radius to make a small circle. Next, add the size position and rotate filter. Move the playhead to the start of the shape. We will add keyframes to the position. I will move the circle a little up. Click the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Then move the playhead to the end of the shape and change the circle's position. Now go to the first keyframe. Right click and select smooth. Then 
go to the last keyframe right click choose from previous then is out and select is out elastic is going off the screen so let's adjust the position of its last keyframe looks awesome right try this in your next video and let me know how it turns out I hope you found this video helpful. Check out more shortcut tutorials on my channel and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.